Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Ulti, and today I'm going to be showing you a high round strategy guide on the map Ancient Evil. So to get right into it, this is the loadout I'd recommend. Now the reason I'm running Secret Source on the raw perk is so that I can run PhD on the low rounds, and I can also run Time Slip on the higher rounds. And you can also do the same on the Odin perk, so you can use Stone Cold Stronghold on the low rounds, and then Time Slip on the higher rounds. Now ideally you would get Time Slip or Stone Cold as one of your free perks, so you don't have to do this. And of course the rest is pretty much up to you. Now this strategy requires you to have two doors closed. The one behind the temple and this door right here too. Now if you haven't seen me camping strategy video, this is what you want to do in the low rounds in this strategy. You want to sit in this corner in the spawn right behind the Essex. Just basically shoot the death goal lot on the ground and it's going to make the rounds go by so much quicker. And of course as soon as you get your specialist, just pull that out and that will also speed up the rounds too. Now on to the high round strategy. So there's two ways you can run this. The first way I'm going to show you now, and it's just basically through running the traps only. You don't need to shoot your gun or anything. Now, to start off, you want to get the horde up in the marketplace. Once you've done that, head down to the bath trap. Turn it on. If you miss the first switch, you'll be able to get the second one. If you miss the second, you'll be able to get the third. And then you want to run all the way to the back of the room, run past the perk, and then head back around, and that should kill a second horde with your trap. And it's pretty much... Rinse and repeat after this, so get the horde up, bring them through the trap, run around, kill a second horde through the trap. That's basically it. Now with time slip, it's going to make it so as soon as you get that horde up and make it to the trap, the trap's going to be ready for your perfect timing. Now time for the second way to run this strategy. So it's really not that different, you're just going to be killing a horde of the RPG between trap uses. That's going to make it so you never run out of points as it's going to pay for your traps. Now also it's going to speed up the strategy as well. As the more hordes you kill, the quicker you're going to earn your specialist over and over again. That alone will speed up the rounds. That being said, the no trap way of running this strategy was a 17 seconds per horde. And this way is a 16, so as long as you have ammo, be sure to run this strategy this way. But you might want to keep in mind to keep 4 bullets in your RPG just to kill the boss. But if you can't, it shouldn't be a problem as the spear kills the boss pretty quickly as well. That's going to be it for the video, so if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. You will soon lay deep in it.